Good Saturday to you. I'm Mitch Keegan in the uh, KYC First Alert Weather Center. We've got some uh, a pretty heavy rainfall moving through the area. and um, We're going to take a look here at uh, what we've got going on right now. And you can see we've got some uh, pretty heavy rainfall moving through the Mankato area right now, along with some uh, thunder and lightning. That heavy rain does stretch back um, to the St. James area as well, seeing some of that uh, heavy rain, some of that lightning stretching back uh, along Highway 4 as well. And uh, again, through the New Ulm area, we're seeing some of that heavy rain, then back up, of course, towards the Twin Cities area. Uh, through Waseca, we're seeing some of that heavy rain, then back down towards the Albert Lee area. Uh, we do, uh, again, watching this uh, storm system as it uh, continues to move through the area, bringing these kind of off and on showers and uh, embedded thunderstorms here from time to time. Uh, it certainly hasn't been a complete washout throughout the day, but uh, we certainly have had uh, areas of uh, off and on showers and thunderstorms here throughout our day. And as we take a look at the bigger picture across the region, you can kind of see that spin uh, in the uh, radar picture uh, kind of uh, located right over Aberdeen, South Dakota. That's where the actual area of low pressure is. So as it's slowly making its way here through the region today, through tonight and into tomorrow, we will keep the chance for some off and on showers and thunderstorms in our forecast through the overnight hours tonight. And uh, into the day tomorrow, looks like maybe even keep the chance for some isolated showers in our forecast into the day on Monday before things start to clear out here by Tuesday into a uh, Wednesday uh, for us as we uh, move along. So uh, looking at the future cast here through the rest of this evening again, off and on showers, some embedded thunderstorms and certainly some heavy rainfall. Looks like we may see a period of some drier weather here through the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow. But you can kind of see that area of low pressure spinning away here through the region will keep the chance for some off and on showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Yes, we will see some periods of dry weather, but yes, there is the chance really at about any time for some pop-up showers and thunderstorms and some peaks of sunshine, just like we saw out there for today. And that sunshine will kind of help destabilize things just a bit and will lead to those pop-up showers and thunderstorms kind of uh, sticking around here for us. So uh, as we take a look at uh, what's going on with your forecast, as we uh, head through uh, the rest of uh, what we're expecting here, uh, moving along, uh, we are looking at, again, some of those showers and thunderstorms here through the evening. Lows will drop back uh, into the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. And looking at the extended forecast, again, keeping that chance for some of those showers uh, right through the day on Monday with highs staying in the low 70s for your Sunday into Monday. Staying in the low to mid 70s here through the rest of the week. And uh, hard to believe it here by next weekend, though, we're going to roll into the month of October here on Sunday with a high around 75. And then maybe some more showers coming our way here. Uh, by Tuesday of uh, early October.